You guys, textured sleek buns, where are they? I have looked at so many fun sleek bun tutorials and I have yet to find one for textured hair. So here it is. I am here to fill that void for you guys. So stay tuned and learn how I do this beautiful sleek styled bun for textured hair. There are a few key points in doing a sleek bun on textured hair. One is to make sure that you're using enough product. Two, make sure that you're using a good elastic to really secure your hair. And then also, don't be afraid to use one of these guys, a little mascara spoolie, and smooth down any little flyaways. So these are just a few of the key points that I'll be covering, but I wanted to let you guys know so that you'll stay tuned. Also, I'm starting off with a little bit of water. So I've just spritzed down my hair and then kind of brushed it out a little bit so I can break up the curl pattern. Because if you're really wanting it to be sleek, then you're not gonna wanna be able to see your curl pattern. You can do this sleek bun a few different ways. If you usually part your hair and you wanna keep your part, I would go ahead and do that now, find your part. For me today, I'm just gonna slick everything directly back and do it in a low bun. So I'm brushing everything back with my Denman brush. Be sure to brush even what's around the nape of your neck to get that nice and secured. And then for an even tighter hold, tilt your head down and you'll be able to get a tighter grip for the elastic. Okay, so I just did a tight ponytail and then I re-pulled all my hair so that it's very tight and secure. At this point, you can see I have a couple little bumps. You can just smooth those down. Because if you have any little bumps right around your ponytail holder, the bun is gonna cover that up. Okay, so obviously this is very slick to my head. Sam might even say a little too slick to my head. I might be those some. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it out just a little bit. And I do have some leftover bangs that are growing out. So those might come up a little bit, pull out from the rest of the other hairs that are tied back, but that's okay. So now I'm coming in with my pomade of sorts. So this is actually an edge styler. Um, and I just picked this up at my local supply house. I'm sure that you can find it online. We will link it below. I've also heard that they got to be glued. Gel is wonderful for doing this type of styling. And especially if you have textured hair. So we'll link that product below as well. I wasn't able to access that product for today's video, so I'm gonna be using this, but keep in mind, that's another wonderful resource. So I'm gonna be grabbing a good amount on my finger, kind of working it through a few different fingers, and then applying a liberal amount throughout my hair. And it's okay, you can see it for right now. We'll work it in a little bit more. You can run what's left over through your ponytail to cut down on the frizz that you'll see there. My hair's getting long. <laughs> I didn't realize it was that long and I'm like, dang, I need a haircut. <laughs> okay, so now that that edge styler is on there. 
I'm gonna brush that back down. I have the hardest time, I don't know about you guys, I feel like this is pretty common. I have the hardest time right here around my temples. I feel like that is where I have a lot of new growth, a lot of baby hairs, and so slicking those parts down specifically is really important for me because that is where little curls will pop up and say, boing, don't forget about me. <laughs> Now I'm grabbing a hairspray. This is a number 26 finishing spray from Kenra. And I'm spraying this all over my hair. I will also spray this mascara spoolie with the hairspray. And make sure that no little flyaways are gonna pop up. Respray. And now I'm ready to do the bun portion. I'm gonna take my hair, has a nice little bit of product still left on it, and I'm just gonna twist the heck out of it. And then secure it with my bobby pins. If you're like me and you have any other little breakage or baby hairs around the nape of your neck, you can just take them and secure them up into the bun. Now that that feels all nice and secure, I will just hairspray it again and we will be done. So we've set everything with hairspray and we are good to go. I swear, I think this hairstyle would stand rain, a hurricane, a torrential downpour, you know, radiation, anything you throw at it, it's gonna stay there because it is shellacked in place. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've made it this far, you know that we've used some amazing products. I can't wait to hear what products you all use. Leave them down in the comments below. I'm always up for trying out a new product and this is one of my favorite hairstyles. So I know that I'm gonna be wanting to do it a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time on Effortless Beauty.